What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Drew Two Base Deep. I am your host, Drew, and I wanted to go ahead and do the follow-up video, as I promised for you to you guys. Um, I've had the phone for about a month now. I said I was going to do it after a couple of weeks, but I wanted to give this phone its just due. I wanted to give it a fair shot, and I heard a lot of pros, had a lot of cons, so I wanted to give it its—you know—I wanted to give it a chance and see if I really did like it and just past the hype of having a phone for a couple weeks I will say that this phone is probably one of the best phones Android wise um, that I've ever had um, iPhone wise it's that's kind of debatable but I'll get into that in a second also I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick uh, review heads up about the 2D case uh, my thoughts on this particular case this case I bought it off of Amazon um, and as you can see it says here a couple things it says uh, ultra slim, says lightweight, says raised lip protection. Uh, one of the main things that is an issue with this phone is accessories. Um, for whatever reason, Essential doesn't do a lot of third-party accessories. Um, they're just now starting to do accessories, I think, as far as earbuds and things like that. But as far as cases, screen protectors, those are probably one of the main things as an Essential owner, if you plan to get one is that you're going to run into is that you won't be able to just go to the store and grab stuff off the shelf it's kind of a pain in the ass you got to go on amazon but i got this particular case off amazon i think it was like 13 bucks which is not bad it is prime eligible and i'll go ahead and put that in the description below so you guys can see it uh, so opening this up comes in just you know your regular uh, plastic nothing too fancy here standard fare uh, but it does say essential right there and as you can see, being that my phone is black, I got it in this carbon fiber uh, kind of weave look. So there's that. All the cutouts are right. Front, on the back, everything's good. Just push that out. Take your phone, which is a fingerprint magnet. This phone is super, super fingerprint magnet. And pop it in there. As you can see, you got your lip. No issues. All the cutouts, perfect. On the bottom and the back side and then you got your buttons which are still real clicky so that's that's a plus no issues there so what I will say you can see the fingerprint magnet is very or sorry the fingerprint at <laughs> the fingerprint uh, scanner is really quick um, I haven't had any issues with the phone um, had a couple of things as far as um, crashing um, a couple apps that needed to actually be updated so that's why they crashed um, other than that I haven't had any issues at it with it at all uh, what I will go ahead and get is the elephant out the room is the camera the stock camera on this phone is not good even still having all of the updates that it's had it's still not a good camera it takes kind of a long time to come up as far as um, you know compared to other cameras um, sometimes it freezes if you take too many pictures at once it does some crazy stuff um, it doesn't take very good low light photos um, and as you can see going from what I just do I went from slow-mo and I went all the way back to auto the, the camera is completely gone completely it doesn't I don't it doesn't do anything it's not doing anything so I can't not take a picture at all so me having kids that really is a deal breaker it really sucks because if I have a moment that I want to capture with my kids, can't do it because the camera decided to take a shit, which is not good. However, like anything, most things Android, you can and have the option of being open source. So you can download the Google Pixel APK for the camera. As you can see, it comes up a little bit quicker. Um, you have your different options. You've got your settings on here on the side. You have your slow motion, you have pan uh, panorama. Yeah, photosphere, lens blur, settings, and so on and so forth. And the settings here are much more robust than you get with the stock essential. Uh, the stock essential stuff. Let me. The stock essential. Let me. I'll show you guys what what you get as far as the options with the stock essential camera, which is not very good. Um, here, I, I'm. Here we go. So you go here. Those are your options right there. Shutter sounds. Or location, storing location. Other than that, you know, you got your 4K stuff up there. But other than that, it's pretty piss poor. So, like I said, you have your option to go and 
go ahead and get the Google Pixel camera, which changes things a lot. It, it's a game changer, really. You so you go to the settings, and you can do uh, 4K. So you can set that up right there automatically. Set that up automatically, the front and the and the rear. So you have no issues there. And then you can just start taking your photos. Um, you can take lens blur, which is the which is the same thing as the portrait mode. <clears throat> excuse me, and the essential stock camera, and it comes out really good. Stock camera, not good. Google Pixel camera, highly recommend you download the APK. It's online. You can go ahead and just Google it, and it'll pop right up. So the next thing, um, the speed. Haven't had any issues with speed. As you can see me going through the phone here, there's no hiccups. There's no nothing. So it all goes through. I um, have had no issues uh, opening apps. Um, my, there's all my Facebook, Instagram, you got all that stuff sitting there, all this good stuff here. So I have had no issues with that. Closes out, perfect. And then you got this here. Now the main thing people wanted to know about was how I liked the display. I love the display, have no issues with the display whatsoever. Um, so as you can see, I have this thing going on here where you see this red line, and if you have an essential phone, you probably have never seen that red line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to what's called immersive mode. So I'm going to open up a app here, and I'm going to go into that. So a lot of people want it to, you know, it's the ire that, you know, they see that this up here is something where it's not using the full screen but with you downloading immersive mode you go ahead and scroll down and now as you can see you use the entire screen top to bottom now it's even cooler when you actually go to the you know, to chrome because even all the words and everything they go all the way to the top and actually that notch that camera notch goes through the words which is actually pretty cool because you get to you get more real estate essentially so that's pretty much it. Um, after having this phone a month, I have had no real issues with it. The only thing that I can say about it that is really pretty shitty still is that camera, and luckily it's a good fix. Um, I bought this phone for 450 bucks off of Amazon um, about a month ago, like I, like I said. And so at that price, I think this is probably one of the better phones of 2017. You can't beat the build quality. I'm not even, I wasn't even to go over the build quality as far as the phone's concerned, because that's one of the better things of the phone. And I don't think that, you know, this is, this phone, you probably heard it a million times that the build quality on this phone is awesome. So there's really nothing to talk about there um, as far as that's concerned. Um, the main thing is that people were complaining about is the camera. I was actually also pleasantly surprised with that speaker. That speaker is pretty damn loud, actually, especially for what it is. Um, and it's being a bottom uh, loaded speaker at that. And then, you know, there's certain things you can do with Android as far as, you know, with the immersive mode and moving those things away. So, you know, you kind of get that extra screen real estate or the illusion of the extra screen real estate of course you know downloading that google pixel camera is a big game changer i would highly recommend that to anybody um, the main the, a great thing also with the google pixel camera is that it has um, auto image stabilization already built into it so you have no issues there even if you wanted to do it <clears throat> excuse me third outside of that you still could do it after the fact but just having it in built into the camera is awesome within itself now will essential go ahead and put more um, updates i'm sure they will oreo updates coming up so i can only imagine what they're going to try to cram into there but as for now the only issue that I had with this with this phone is the camera and that's been alleviated by downloading the google pixel camera so to me if you guys are looking for a phone in that four hundred fifty five hundred dollar range um the one plus the one plus five t in my opinion is a really good phone as well um it just is for what i wanted and now all this negative press that they have been stealing people's uh well they didn't steal it but they hackers had hacked into their stuff and, and stole people's credit cards which is like not a good look so i just wanted to give you guys a quick um, follow-up review how I like the phone I have had no issues with it I actually love the phone build quality uh, everything the only thing I mean it sucks it out to put it in the case but you know it is what it is but it's a really nice feeling phone it's nice and hefty you get a big ass screen in a form factor phone that you can hold in your hand without having to sit there and fumble around with it um, I haven't dropped it on my face yet so I can't say about the pain as far as that's concerned but um, you know I have no issues with this phone I actually really enjoy this phone um, like the better obviously my iPhone 6s plus it's obviously a newer phone so it is an upgrade to it but um if anybody's looking for that phone for this phone in particular and they're looking at a one plus or this phone i would say with the 
things that you can do with this phone versus the OnePlus, I would highly suggest this phone. It's more reasonably priced. Um, you can get it it's relatively readily available. The only thing you'll have to be uh, cognizant of is getting a case off Amazon and getting a screen protector off Amazon as they won't be just any, uh, you know, it, they won't be in the store, but I don't think a OnePlus stuff will be in store either. So, you know, keep that in mind if you're looking off kind of these off-brand phones or these phones that are not, you know, a thousand, two thousand, five, you know, a thousand, eleven hundred dollars. Um, so again, it's been Drew from Drew2HD. I appreciate you guys going ahead and following up with this follow-up review. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please put them down below. And as always, man, y'all stay blessed.